Hello and welcome to the show. I'm here on Forza Horizon 2 with another rally car build. My vehicle today is the Ford Escort Mark II, a car that I very much like. I do like these. Great fun for sort of circuit racing, especially on Forza 4. These things were incredibly good at the circuit racing. Uh, how is going to fare with this uh, rather extreme rally course that I put the cars through? I'm not quite sure, although I am expecting this to be pretty damn fast. May not be the easiest to drive car though. That's what I'm suspecting from it. It might be a little bit uh, twitchy and a little bit slidey, possibly, because uh, it is a very tiny wheelbase vehicle. Now, as always with this series, uh, the vehicles have to be four-wheel drive, which means with this one, I'm actually going to have to uh, drive try and swap it, which is fine. We will uh, we will put that on there. They also must have the Storm Island rally parts, so that means. We've got some off-road tyres, we will have the rally gearbox, which is just essentially very, very short gear ratios, and the rally suspension to give it a chance of surviving some of the bumps that it is going to come up against. Where is it? Over here. There we go, rally suspension. And I'm hoping the Escort will, will survive and won't get chucked around too much, despite being very, very light. Now, engine-wise, I'm not sure that the standard engine is going to get it up to S1 class. I don't think I'm going to be able to get the power out of the standard engine to get it up to S1 class. Now the choice is, we can have the 2 litre i4 turbo, I believe this is the Escort Cosworth engine. We can have the 1.6 turbo rally, as much as I love the turbo rally engine, you can't get enough power out of it uh, to make it S1 class. Or we can have a 6.2 litre V8, which we're not going to use. Also that makes it 60% 60, 60 front, front heavy, that would probably end quite badly. No, we're going to use the uh, Cosworth engine, I think, for this one. I don't think I've used this in a car ever, this engine. So we're going to we're going to have a go with the uh, the i4 the i4 turbo. Now, as far as visual, I was hoping for some like rally lights and stuff on the Escort. A little disappointing on this car. There's you can remove the plastic bits. In fact, the removing the plastic bits make the car heavier. I don't know how that works. But apparently it does, so we're keeping the plastic bits on. We don't need a spoiler or a, a, a diffuser. And again, at the rear, it's just the, the, the sort of the air dam bit that uh, we don't really need. Uh, does that actually make it lighter? Oh, it does this time. That does make it lighter. We're going to just keep the car uh, standard on uh, on that one. Tyres, uh, we're going to want some wider tyres. Just looking at these. Yeah, we've got trailer wheels on the... Uh, <laughs> on the Escort, so as big a tyres as we can get, we're not going to have the largest tyres imaginable on this car, I don't think, which is a little bit of a shame. In fact, yeah, they are quite diddy. Uh, <laughs> in all honesty, they are tiny tyres. I wouldn't I wouldn't want to put the maxed out V8 in this car with only that size tyre. That would, that would be problematic, but we are already going to be building it to S1 class, so we might just about uh, get away with it. We're going to want brakes, of course. We're going to be wanting to get stopped as fast as possible uh, on this course. Brakes are always important. How light can we make the car? That is the question. We can get it under £2,000. Okay. We're going to go with some weight reduction. We are. We may as well stick in a roll cage, actually. Uh, sure, we're in a roll cage. Uh, weight, I'm not so much concerned about weight in this car. Um, £2,000 is starting to get to the even potentially light and twitchy stage with some of the vehicles. The slightly heavier vehicles have done pretty well considering in the top four we have a Bentley, a Continental GT and a Raptor. So yeah, a little bit heavier, a little bit heavier vehicle. I'm fine with that uh, for this. Right, on to the engine. How are we looking at for, for PI? I don't know how much power you get out of the, um, the Cosworth engine. I'm hoping we can get enough put it in S1. Oh, there we go. Oh, 87 horsepower. Yeah, I think it's going to be one of the cars that uh, it won't be particularly powerful, but because it is so light that uh, there we go. Yeah, um, power to weight ratio will be good. PI is shooting up at the moment, which is always which is always good to see. Uh, 415. How much more can we squeeze out of it? 445. Okay, it's not quite as low on power as I thought it could be. It's got around the same power as the MG. Whoop. There we go. 458 horsepower in a car weighing less than 2,000 pounds. 55% front weight distribution could be a bit problematic over the jumps. Uh, who knows? We'll have to see. It, that, that's what it, it in theory could be like, but it, it doesn't seem to work like that. Sometimes the cars are fine, so other cars have problems. Can't get away with that. Always worth a try. I'll just shove that on there while, while we're here. It doesn't really make any difference with the PI on the car. Okay. 
And I think that is the Escort ready to go on this one. Yeah, I'm expecting it. I, I think it could be quite quick. I think it could be much like the Delta. It could be very fast, but not the easiest car to drive. I think we may have the back end potentially sliding around a fair bit on this one. Anyway, we shall go to our test track, which is the Forest Brawl Race Circuit, where I have five laps to go as quickly as possible with my Escort. Yeah, it's definitely going to be, I would expect to be to be towards the top of the of the table at this car. Uh, potentially could be very quick. I know these things are blue in leaderboard cars on certain tracks in classes in Forza 4. Uh, we are giving it a very different task uh, on this particular circuit, but I would expect the uh, the Escort to be pretty fast. I'd expect it to be pretty fast accelerating as well. Uh, here we go, off the line. <laughs> We've got very short gears. Incredibly short. Got to remember to keep changing the gears. Uh, plenty uh, for this particular vehicle. Right, into turn one. How are we on rear end grip? That's my uh, my slight concern with the Escort. Oh, we are lovely. Just about lovely. I balls that one up. Sorry, car. <laughs> that was my fault. You did nothing wrong. Uh, we are got a lot of grip in the Escort. We can be flat out all the way around there. Fly through the air. Lovely. Oh, a little bit bouncy on the landing. But then it's flat out. Through the, that's got huge airtime over there as well. Come on then, car. We'll chuck it down here. It's still flat out. <laughs> so much grip, despite the Diddy tyres. It really does bounce around a lot, though. There is huge grip in this vehicle, despite the tiny, tiny tyres. I'm quite surprised by that, actually. Uh, it's normally the cars that surprise you with grip, but just because the cars have got ridiculous-sized tyres. This is doing very well with the tiny, tiny tyres. Oh, that's a slightly wonky, but actually not too slow. Over that, over that jump, we landed slightly scared. It's already gone quicker than the Mini from a standing start. That's how fast the Escort is. Right, stop and turn, please. I might not have braked early enough for that one. Ran a little bit wide there. Can we be not... Ooh, we can almost be flat out down there. Can we be flat through here? If I, No, I can't quite be flat out. There's a little lift. Ooh, I've carried so much speed, I've got lost on the... <laughs> <laughs> on the next corner. Wait, come back over this way. Oh god, I've taken a bad angle for that jump. With yeah, I've I've messed up the jump. Still, it's blooming fast through that corner, getting it lots of airtime across there. Uh, this car is finding airtime in every possible place because it's so quick. Whoop, we're out wide, running on the curb slightly. It, you're bouncing again. Actually, that that was quite a beneficial bounce. It landed really nicely for the next section. Brake, slow it down, turn through the final corner, and then we accelerate down here. Having the slightly less power may hinder it in its ultimate top speed, but we probably not too bad. It flies lovely through the air there. Uh, how fast are we going? Whoa, down here. Uh, in fact, we're running out of gears almost at 100. Uh, yeah, it's, it's pretty damn quick. <laughs> the Escort is damn far to the straight line, although it would run out of gears uh, before well, 140 is probably about all it's going to have to give. Uh, but on this track, that's fine. It's not, it's not a problem uh, around here. I get a little bit out of shape on that that time round. Uh, <laughs> just watching the Evo run the guard fence. Wow, I've got 86,000 XP chain for just driving normally. Ah, uh, just got out again. Just suffering on that landing a little bit. The rest of the jumps it's fine on. Just that particular one, it's not liking. And now I've lost uh, a little bit of time. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> the, the tiny lightweight Ford is being chucked around on this particular course. Slow, slow, slow into this corner. I, I keep overshooting on that one. It is one of these it's one of these very annoying corners. It looks like it's a lot more open than it actually is, so you think you can take a lot more speed through it uh, than you and you really cannot. Uh, that was a bit of a <laughs> a, a bit of a, a heavy impact, but it is flying very nicely through the air um, up towards turn one. Right, let's see if we can slow down. That's a bit better into the first corner. We do just slide, I mean everything is going to slide on dirt. Uh, it is just, ooh, the back end will let go if you aren't. Apparently that was drifting, I wasn't trying to drift. Ooh, we're all out of shape there. Where am I going? That's not where I want to be. No! <laughs> okay. We're alright, we're fine, we're fine. We're going to have a nasty landing. Oh no, quite a good landing. I, I chickened out and slowed down a bit across that one. Oh god, and again, these, these jumps are terrifying in the little Ford. Ooh, no, behave yourself, Escort. Behave yourself. Up towards the next corner, it just gets chucked. That was quite fortunate. It chucked me in absolutely the right direction. I couldn't do that again if I was trying, but still mighty impressive, and then accelerate out of that final corner. It does, I, I am liking this car. It does fly around out of these corners. I 
across the jump land nicely, the like nicely-ish anyway, uh, <laughs> towards the line. What lap time we want? One minute, one point seven. Pretty good so far. I'm just watching the blooming XP chain. It's still going, it's still going. Chuck it into the first corner. Uh, <laughs> Could I break my record? I don't even know what, what my record is, like some 400,000 thing with a BMW speed car. We may beat it by pure accident by uh, trying to drive this thing. Oh, we're out of, out of shape through there. Can get a decent exit though. Can line myself up for this jump quite nicely. There we go. Uh, <laughs> oh, big, big slide through that corner. Oh crap, we're on to the final, <laughs> the final lap with this car. It is flying around here. Uh, the landing of that jump did not quite work out. Uh, quick car, this s I'm having far too much fun with this car. I was just completely not keeping track of laps. This is a fantastic little race car, this thing. I absolutely love it. Uh, the jumps, 148,000. <laughs> just from driving it normally. Uh, it is an excellent little car. Flies lovely through the air. It's the, it's the landing of the jumps that are a little problematic. It's kind of what I feared uh, with this car. It is a little bit too light in some respects. It gets chucked around on the bumps. It's getting so much airtime off the smaller jumps you normally don't think about with a lot of the cars. Uh, but yeah, it's just losing a little bit of time uh, being chucked around or on these jumps, but it is bloody good fun. It's <laughs> the first car I've been having so much fun with I've completely forgotten what lap I'm on. A uh, very, very good car to drive, this one. Uh, ex excellent fun. Not the quickest. It does go into third on our table. Goes quicker than the Galant. Not quite as easy as the Mitsubishi though. Uh, not, as, not as easy to drive uh, this car. It will it will be throwing around a bit more. Uh, it is slower than the Bentley but uh, not by too much. It has, has very decent grip. It is just the bumps that cause problems for the Escort. Although I would very much recommend you have a go with this car. Yeah, it is huge amounts of fun. Uh, fairly forgiving uh, through the corners. Uh, fairly forgiving through them. You can chuck it around quite a lot and uh, it'll it'll keep on going. I do like it. Yes, the Escort is a <laughs> very good choice of Rani vehicle. Anyway, that is it for this video, guys. So thank you very much for watching, and until next time, a goodbye.